Okay, so our goal here is to bisect this angle A, and we've got some tools here on GeoGebra to do just that. First, I'm going to click on circle with a center through point. So here's the center at A, and I can expand this out to get a circle. I want to get a point on this ray over here. That's the point D, and this is really close to B, so I'm going to just move that in a little bit. It's just that. It's dynamic. I can always change the model as I go. So I've got that point, and I'm going to then mark this point. These two locations, D and E, are equidistant from A, so I can use them. C and B are, I mean, you can almost tell right away they're not equidistant from A, so be careful. You don't want to um, cause any issues in your constructions. So now I have this circle. How do I move it? The answer is the compass tool. So I click on D to A, and now I have this copy of the circle. I can move wherever I want. I'll move it over here to center D, and then I'll do it again, compass. E to A. Okay, I did D to A or 4 and now E to A, the same thing. We'll slide it over here. And okay, I've got that. So what did I just do? I created, I have a segment here from A to E and from A to D. Then what do I have? Well, I have that circle again here centered at D to this point right here and from E over to this point right here. But they're not large enough, those circles. I want to make them bigger. So let me go back. It's not reaching. So I'm going to make another circle with the center at D, and it could be larger than the past circle. That might really help us here. I'll go like this. Boom. Now I'll take my compass tool and copy that. F to D, and slide it over here. And that is large enough, it looks like. All right. So we'll go to point, sorry, point E. And those two larger circles meet at this location right here, this point. And that's going to be what I need. So I go to my ray tool here, go from A to G. And I want to confirm that I actually did uh, bisect the angle. So I'm going to draw the, a, the ray from A to F, let's say, and then from A to B. All right, so if I measure this, it's, it was 130.4 degrees. Let's see what I have now. I'll go F, A, G. 65.2, good, and then B to A to G. And that measured around the other way, so let me just undo that. I'm still on my angle tool, G to A to, I think it was at B, boom. And you can see that it's also 65.2, and right now they're all on top of each other. I'll fix that so you can move them around if you're playing with this um, activity on GeoGebra so you can see what you're looking at. All right, I hope that helped.